The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us for this week's VIX service live video. Take a look at the count on the VXX. Also look at the equity charts. And I'll take a quick look at um, the VIX spot VIX. All right, let's look at the big picture count here for just a minute so we can see where we're at um, on that. So as I noted last week, um, bigger picture I'm, I'm viewing this as, as bullish off of this 28.69 low. So I'm viewing this as a five wave move, one, two, three, four, and five, uh, right into this 45 area, followed by a three wave, uh, three wave corrective move down, A, B, and then this all being part of one C wave, and this entire structure here being part of a fourth wave. Um, so still have an A, B, C down. We finally broke under this 35 level today. Uh, looks like we're going to head down towards 76.4 uh, retrace of the entire move up off the lows, um, which comes in down right here. It's 3260-ish area. So that, that's what's looking like is playing out here. <clears throat> does look like we're going to get um, that move into that, that lower area here for this, uh, this final fifth wave down here. Uh, may test this, this downtrend line here um, uh, right here you know, crossing out where that, that 76.4 retrace is um, before breaking higher again. Would have been nice if we would have bounced here off the 61.8 in that in that down uh, channel test, but that didn't occur. So we got some consolidation uh, and then uh, looks like this is the fourth wave top here and look like we're heading lower. So zooming in a bit to the 10 minute chart, uh, what we can see here is um, following this red path again. So again, off the lows, one, two, three, four, and five again. So that's suggestive that we should see another move over the 45 level prior to breaking this 2879 low. So that's the setup. That's the larger degree setup right now. Okay, so then from that top, we've got A, B, and then C. We've got one. So A, B, C, we've got one, two, three, really big fourth wave topping out here, uh, wave four. And then one, two, three, four, five. Our microwave three of this. Uh, wave five should target the uh, 34, 34.35 to 33.57 zone for the wave three, followed by fourth, and then a fifth down into that uh, 32, 60, 62-ish areas where the 76.4 retrace comes. We've also got some decent confluence here on our smaller degree time frames off of this high that was struck on Friday. So again, one, two, three, four, five. So that looks like what's playing out here. So it looks like this has some downside um, to fill out a little bit before um, attempting to strike another bottom. Uh, what I'll be looking for once we fill out this five down here off of this high, so looking for five down off this high, I'll be looking for another a reversal and a five wave move up off the bottom. So ideally that comes right near this 3264 level. I'll be looking for a five up off that low. Uh, at that point, we can then look at some option trades um, or look to potentially add to uh, some straight share trades on the VXX um, at that point. So again, once we get a full five up off the lows, we can look to add straight shares or look at some new option trades at that point. Um, not really interested in getting any, into any new option trades just at the moment, um, just because we don't have a great timing set up at the moment. It, it's always better on options to, to use a one-two setup off the low, uh, which we just don't have right now. And we've got this larger, one two setup, but it's just too big to really give us a great timing uh, view for options based on what the targets are to the upside. So I'd be looking for a smaller degree five wave move to the upside to really get us a better idea what timing is going to look like on the options. So right now, not looking at any new option trades to the upside just yet. Um, but if we can get a full five up off the lows, then I'll, I'll start looking that that direction. Also wanted to note uh, as far as upside targets on the larger degree time frame here, um, the 100 extent. Assuming we bottom here at the 76.4. Uh, retrace the 100 extension comes in at 49.42, um, but I do still have upside ultimate targets at around the 55 area, which is the the origination point of this ending diagonal. So I've got one, two, three, four, five down off that area. Um, as I've noted many times, when a diagonal ends, it typically retraces back to its origination point, which in this case comes in at 54.76. So ultimately, I'm looking for a move up to that area. I've got some fibs here, 123.6 and the 138.2 extension. So that's my ultimate target here uh, for this diagonal. 
Um, but we do have the 100 extension coming at 49.42, assuming we bought them at the 76.4 retrace. So I'll be looking at that as, a, as, a, as an initial upside target, but still ultimately looking for the 55 area um, to hit, uh, head towards once we do indeed bottom. Um, okay, so that's about it for the VIX. Let's look at the mar equity markets. They're a little bit more sloppy, but we do have some fairly clear levels that we can watch out for on, on equity charts at the moment. Um, so smaller time frame on the ES. I noted in the room today, 3109 to 3119 is a, a micro upside pivot here. If that can get, through, we can get through there, then I'd be watching for 3135 as the next key level. If that breaks, then it opens the door to see a move up towards 3205 to 3248. Um, ideally, VXX holds uh, the levels uh, that I noted earlier, 3264, even if we break up into these zones. Um, but that's kind of what I'm watching on the ES. Not super clean chart at all at the moment. Um, but that's kind of what I'm watching on the SPX um, and then ultimately looking for a larger um, corrective move to the downside for a wave two. And we can see that here on the XPS 60 minutes. So ultimately looking for a larger wave two to the downside. Um, again, that, that B wave top may come a little bit higher here and fall by C wave down. Uh, or uh, alternatively, we may be seeing a fourth wave bottom here um, or a, a, a B wave top here and another C wave down for fourth wave. So we're still over support for fourth wave. So we still could see it being a fourth wave here where we get a new lower low under the lows that were struck on the 15th um, and still be over support. Uh, or we could be topping in all of this B wave. So e either way, um, still looking ideally lower here, but we may push a little bit higher here prior to that occurring. Um, and again, that fits with the, the VXX uh, needing higher. So um, back up over the, the highs that were struck on the 15th and the SPX back under the lows that were struck on the 15th. So that's what I'm watching on equity charts and the VXX. Uh, at least another low under the 15th uh, low on, this, on the equities, which would support that higher, higher on the VXX. Um, how we get there is a little bit unclear at the moment on the equity charts. It's just pretty sloppy. Um, but VXX is, is tracing a, a cleaner pattern at the moment. So, um, again, I, ideally, I would like to see it hold that 76.4 retrace, which, again, comes in at 32.64. Um, but I'll be looking for a, a reversal off of that area um, to potentially add to longs and or look at some longs on uh, option trades. All right, so that about covers things. If there's any questions, go ahead and ask them now. You can either uh, ask your questions in the questions box, or if you have a mic, you can raise your hand and call on you. Whatever you are more comfortable doing or want to do, it's fine. All right, so first question. Ending diagonal down from 45.03 with the fifth wave down from 38.48. Having C equals A times 1.32 to complete. Mm, I'm, I'm not quite sure about that question, what, what exactly the question is. Um, so the ending diagonal down from 45, the ending diagonal starts at 54.76. This is where the ending diagonal starts. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the origination point right there, not at 45. Um, and then down into 2869. That's where I've got the diagonal. One, two, so I've got A and then B and then one, two, three, four, five for a C wave. A wave up, B wave down, looking for another C wave up. Um, you know, initial, if we, if something would bottom at the 76.4, initial target would be 49.42, and then ending diagonal target would be 54.76, which again fits, it's right in the middle of the 123.6 to 138.2 of the initial move up off the lows. Uh, can I chart UVXY in the room? Yes, I will. Um, I will do that shortly. Um, ending diagonal instead of A1 up, B2 down on 617. Ending diagonal of an A1 up, B2 down. I, I'm still not following what the question is. 
Um, I'll, I'll go to the next one if you can elaborate a little bit. Maybe I can catch on. Um, Russell 2000. Um, bigger picture, I'm still looking for this to have already topped at 1536 on the rut. Um, being in a, a, a retrace up for B wave, looking for C down. It doesn't look like the great, a great start to a, a C down here. So this may need to pop up higher and give us a, a, a larger B up. So A and then B and then C, a larger B up here and then down for C. Um, possible leading diagonal to the downside, but it's not super clear. But ideally this is already topped here. I, I just, I have an issue with this fourth wave. It's, it's really shallow. I don't have any, I don't have anywhere near overlap here between this fourth and this one. So I just, I don't like it as a fourth wave there, but certainly can't rule out the blue count just yet. That would take this up back up over the previous highs here for a, a larger CF5, but not my primary count uh, at this point in time. So still looking for uh, ideally a C down, but I don't have a great initiation pattern here on the Russell 2000 just yet. Um, so, I mean, look at the RTY futures. It's not great, not a great start. <clears throat> Sorry. And Russell 2000. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's pretty clearly Correct. I mean, it's not even an ABC. It's a it's a WXY pattern right now. It's it's pretty sloppy. So possible leading diagonal. One, two, three, four, five. Possible possible leading diagonal, but not real clean at the moment. So um, just don't, I don't have a great setup there at the moment. But let me keep an eye on that. So I mean, it, you know, overall, folks, we've got a really sloppy micro action right now, which is why I've been you know, a little bit more cautious here this past week and into today. I just, I really want to see a clean setup. We had some really nice uh, tradable action uh, two weeks ago. Monday was really the only day last week that we had some, a really clean setup um, that long on the equities where we bottomed. Um, but I'm, I'm really trying to be patient here and, and really wait for a setup. Get a high probability setup in play before I really get too aggressive. Still like the VXX to the upside on the longer term, but and really nothing to do just yet until we uh, see some signals at the bottom. Okay, so still not understanding that last question about the ending diagonals. Um, if you want to ask in the room a little bit more elaborate, I'll, I'll be happy to review it there. Um, but I, I'm sorry, I'm not quite following what you're asking on that. Um, but feel free to ask in the room and I'll, I'll can review that. Um, okay, so that looks like it for the questions. Um, if there's anything else, so folks, please feel free to ask in the room during the week. I'm always happy to answer those questions there. Otherwise, I'll plan to see everyone here again next week. Thank you all for joining us and have a great week.